friends, welcome to another story time. My name is Miss Julie. Can you say, howdy, Miss Julie? <laughs> oh, it's so great to have you here. We've got a wonderful story time planned. But before we go too far, let's do our Hello Friends song. We do this song with some American Sign Language that I would love to teach you. So first, we're going to do the sign for hello. So we're gonna take our hand like this, bring it up by your eyebrow and out. Hello, hello. The sign for friends is like this. We take our two pointer fingers and they give each other a hug each way. That's the sign for friends. Now take a pointer finger to your wrist for time. By your chin and down, this is for to say, to say. Hello. Let's sing it together. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Oh, beautiful. Let's do that one more time. But this time, we're not going to sing any of those words. We're just going to sign and hum the tune. Let's try it. Good, that was wonderful. You know what? I was a little sleepy this morning before starting story time. So I think we need to get our body moving with some actions. What do you think? Would you do an action song with me? Great. I got out my ukulele because this is a song called I'm in the mood for singing. And I'll play my ukulele and we'll all do some actions together. The first action we're going to try is clapping. What does clapping look like? Yeah, that's all right. You clap with your hands. <laughs> Can you clap very fast? What about very slow? Good. Now we have our slow clap. Can it get faster? And a little faster? What about really fast? <laughs> that's called a slow clap. Oh, you are great clappers. The next thing we're going to do in our song is stretching. Can you stretch your arms up? Stretch, oh, and then maybe stretch them wide. Oh, and give yourself a big hug. Mm. Let's do that again, out wide. Oh, stretch, and a big hug. <laughs> great. The last action we're gonna do is jumping. Do I have any good jumpers out there? Great, yes, jump up and down. <laughs> Wonderful. Can any of you jump on one foot? Whoa. Wow, oh, keep trying. Jumping on one foot takes a lot of practice. Now, we practice all of those actions. We're gonna try them together during the song. So if you hear one of those actions we practiced, hopefully you'll do it at home. Here we go. I'm in the mood for singing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for singing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for singing, singing along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. I'm in the mood for clapping. Hey, how about you? Good, I'm in the mood for clapping. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for clapping, clapping along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. I'm in the mood for stretching. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for stretching. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for stretching, stretching along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. Whoo, wonderful. 
Oh, that was great, friends. Oh, wait, did we forget something? Huh. You are right, we forgot jumping. Oh my goodness. Are you ready to jump? Okay, stand up, here we go. I'm in the mood for jumping. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for jumping. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for jumping, jumping along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. <laughs> Wonderful, friends. Oh, thanks for remembering jumping. I always forget that part. Today, we are going to have so much fun. We are going to be traveling somewhere special. But first, we're going to talk about our body parts. Oh, our bodies are amazing things. They work so hard for us every day. Let's show them some love. We're gonna wiggle some different parts of our bodies in a song called, My Body is Starting to Wiggle. We're gonna start with our fingers. My fingers are starting to wiggle. My fingers are starting to wiggle. My fingers are starting to wiggle. And now so are my elbows. <gasps> my elbows are starting to wiggle. My elbows are starting to wiggle. My elbows are starting to wiggle. And now so is my neck. Ooh, how do you wiggle your neck? My neck is starting to wiggle. My neck is starting to wiggle. My neck is starting to wiggle. And now so is my tongue. My <laughs> That was silly, friends. We're going to be talking about a specific part of our body later. But first, let's travel to that special place I was telling you about. <gasps> Outer space. Whoa. Let's go with a song. This is called Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. And we are going to be clapping our hands, but a little differently. We're going to <gasps> clap them out like that. Can you try that with me? <gasps> zoom, zoom, zoom. <gasps> Good. In this song, we're also going to pretend to climb a ladder. Can you try that? Great. We are going to end the song with a countdown. So we'll start with 10 and go all the way down to one, and then we'll blast off into outer space. Let me teach you the song. Here we go. Our Zoom clapping. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Blast off! <laughs> Great. Let's do that song one more time and go even deeper into space. Here we go. Remember those Zoom claps? Great. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! Great, we're here on the moon. Grown-ups, I love a song like that. Not only is it about outer space, but it's got a countdown in it. If you're not already doing countdown with your kiddos, I highly recommend it. It's a great way to make sure they know that numbers don't just go one way and that they can count backwards. So try doing a countdown at home later today. Great, let's read our story. I brought a beautiful new book today. It's called Stella's Stellar Hair. 
and it is actually written and illustrated by the same person, Yesenia Moises. And we are getting to read this courtesy of Imprint, which is a part of Macmillan. Let's find out about Stella's hair. Oh, wow, what beautiful hair she has. Stella didn't know what to do with her hair today. It twisted and turned, zigged and zagged, made loop-de-loops and lots of curly cues. It wasn't at all what she wanted. Hmm. Have you ever had a hair day like that when your hair's just doing all the wrong things? I know I have. Mama, Mama, my hair's not acting right, Stella cried. Come here, baby, let me help you, Mama said. Uh-uh, Mama, I want something special today. It's the big star little gala. She's going to a party tonight. Oh, how fun. Well, Mama said, maybe your auntie over on Mercury can give you a special style for your big day. So Stella grabbed her hoverboard and was on her way. Stella lives in outer space, friends. How cool is that? What brings you to Mercury, honey? Aunt Ophelia said. Auntie, my hair's not acting right, Stella told her. It twists and turns and it's not at all what I wanted. So Aunt Ophelia got to work on a poofy smooth style. So soft and elegant, Stella said, just like you. But I don't know if this is me. Then try visiting your auntie over on Venus, Aunt Ophelia said. When Stella got to Venus, Auntie Alma said, hey girl, hey. Auntie, Auntie, Stella cried. My hair's not acting right. It zigs and zags from poofy to straight. So Auntie Alma got to work on a royal lion's mane. Wow. Do you know what sound a lion makes? That's right, roar. That's hair that roars. So proud and fierce, Stella exclaimed, just like you. But it's all hair and no me. Hmm, try seeing your auntie on Mars, Auntie Alma suggested. Stella flew past Earth to visit her third aunt. Welcome to Mars, dear, Aunt Ruby said. Auntie, my hair's not acting right. It shifts and sways and takes up all of my space. So Auntie Ruby got to work on an elegant crown of hair. Ooh, so strong and classy, Stella said softly. Just like you, but maybe too much for someone like me. See if your other aunts can help you, Aunt Ruby replied. On Jupiter, where everyone's hair appreciates a good storm, Auntie Cielo let the rain splash and sploosh on Stella's hair. Auntie Iris on Saturn gave her big space buns, wrapping her hair like rings around and around and around. On Uranus, Stella's twin aunties got excited. <gasps> big twinky twists, Auntie Layla cried. No braids, Auntie Lala argued. <gasps> I wonder what they'll do. Oh, so Stella ended up with braids and twists, big and small, beads, shells, rings, and a big bun. A hop skip away on Neptune, Auntie Rio gave her endless waves. So deep and graceful, Stella whispered, just like you, but I can't see me, and it's almost time for the party. And Auntie Rio said softly, go see your auntie over by the sun. Auntie Solana, my hair's just not acting right, Stella said. It's been twisted and turned and twirled and swirled and shifted and swayed and splished and splooshed. And it isn't at all what I wanted. You know, Auntie Solana said, there's really no such thing as hair not acting right. Your hair just wants to be a little more fun today, and that's okay. You don't have to change a thing. Just be yourself. Oh. 
So Stella washed her hair, just like the rain on Jupiter did, until it was so soft. She put it up in two buns, smaller than the one she had on Saturn. She pulled it out into a lion's mane, roar, as full as the ones on Venus. She brushed it into Neptunian waves that snapped back into tight, poofy, mercurial curls. After a few braids and twists from Uranus, with a flare fit for Mars, she added something special from the sun. <gasps> Warm stardust that glimmered with every step she took. It was something new and not too different, but totally Stella. It twisted and turned, zigged and zagged, made loopity loops and lots of curly cues. And that was perfectly fine by her. The end. There's all our planets. Oh, what a beautiful book. I love that the sun, her aunt on the sun, finally told her that her hair wasn't acting not right. It, it just wanted to be different today, and that's okay. No matter how your body or your hair might be doing one day to the next, just be yourself. You don't have to worry about looking perfect. It's a wonderful message from our book today. Now, I've got a silly song about something that we might wear on our hair, a hat. <laughs> Do you have a silly hat at home or maybe a baseball cap? I couldn't find a hat this morning, so I found a pretend hat. <gasps> this is a pie tin. Do you have anything that could be a silly hat for our song? You can go get it now. <laughs> Ooh. We're gonna start with our hat on our head like this. Let me teach you our song. On my head I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my head will wiggle waggle to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? We could wear our hat on our hand like that. Huh. On my hand I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my hand will wiggle waggle to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Where else could we wear a hat? <gasps> on your knee, oh, like that. On my knee I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my knee will wiggle waggle to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? <gasps> I hope you find some other silly places to wear your hat today. Maybe you could wear it outside or to the grocery store. I'm excited to find out. But you know what? That's all for our story time today. Before we go, we're going to sing our Goodbye Friends song. It's just like Hello Friends, but to sign goodbye, we're going to tap our chin and wave. Let's try. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends. Goodbye, friends, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.